Hey, hey, what's up, bro? It's your boy G Strap. Everybody, hey, baby, get your voice to the street, man. And take today, we on we on the east side of Chicago, y'all. Well, I had to come over here to fill out some paperwork. Your boy is just put in. I actually start. I just got my first motivational speaking job. Would you believe that? I had to speak. Words of motivation to this program. It's a job training program where they have a lot of teenage children and not children, but teenagers, ex-cons, and people they're trying to help with resumes and things like that. And they just want me to be the words of motivation and, you know, teach them how to stay in the program and tell them things like that. So, you know, I basically started today, y'all, because of me looking up information they asked us a few things like what do you know about this program and I explained to them that uh well I heard it's a job program and that if you attend the classes they go teach you how to fill out resumes and things like that and also they pay you to do it none of them knew none of that nobody knew they said how did you find that I said I looked it up he said, why are you here? I'm like, I'm here to be a motivational speaker to the people, or what they call them, participants. So I'm one of the motivational speakers for the participants. Would you believe, y'all, I come in here, one guy, he don't even know how to read. And he... He, man, I don't understand that. I'm like, understand what? I can't read that. It's elementary reading. It asks you things like, what is your address? What do you plan to get out this program? Uh, what are your dreams and admirations? None of them knew what admirations mean, what it meant. I had to explain it to him. I read all the questions to him and he was able to write it in there. He can't read, but he knew how to write and spell. I'm like, wow, okay, well, I can read, but I can't hardly spell with the shit, bruh. So don't feel bad, but you got to learn how to read, bruh, because I don't know what type of job or what you go do if you can't read, bruh. You know, and I say, you got to let them know that. Would you believe they come got me already? Who helped you with this? He said, a guy in there. And the lady come in there and say, who? He like, Maurice. I told him my name was Maurice. He like, she's like, oh, okay, you're the motivational speaker? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you don't supposed to be in here. I'm like, where am I supposed to be? She said, in the other room. I need you to fill out her application. You're not doing what they're doing. You in the entry part where the participants said. I'm like, well, I didn't know, ma'am. Y'all told me to come in. He just told me to come in here, have a seat. Would y'all believe I thought about bringing my heat? And when I get here, they were searching at the door. I'm way on the east side, y'all. That's why I'm showing y'all this. I'm way on the east side. They validated our parking. They validated our parking. But we had to park at a lot. It's a block and a half. It's like two blocks from the damn place. Like damn! I just went and got something to eat, and I'm walking back. But I want y'all to see something. See how far I got to walk back to my fucking to the fucking car, y'all. But some of y'all ain't never been to Chicago. I want y'all to see some of this. It's a big building, east side. I know it'd be a lot of shit happening in Chicago, y'all, but I tell you, it's all about how you carry yourself, bro. I be walking around. I don't have no problem. But I did see some of the issues, y'all. It's a lady coming there. You won't believe me. This lady coming there, she got an attitude from day one. She frowning all up. And the lady coming and said, did y'all finish with y'all assessment, y'all paperwork? She said, I ain't even had no fucking paperwork yet. What the fuck? I'm like, damn, okay. Why, why she being a bitch already? She just got here. 
she hadn't been in the room long, so they wanted her to fill out her paperwork so they could call her to interview her or whatever they doing, however they doing it. She got upset and she just frowning. Little bald head ass bitch. And listen. Then she say, then she say, y'all. The lady said, I need you to sit at my desk and fill out the paperwork. I don't like people behind me. I don't like people walking behind me. So she gave her the paper and let her sit at the desk. She sat at the desk and slid back to the wall. That's why the fuck I was sitting over here. And I'm like, they want you at the desk for a reason, sis. They not just telling they need you at the desk because you filling out the work. I said, and people are watching these cameras. I said, so I don't know what you over here to do, but with the attitude like that, they're probably not going to pick you. See, they can see us. Yeah, they can see you. I said, I didn't ring the doorbell or none of that. When I came to the door, I'm looking up and down because I know it's the address, y'all. All of a sudden, I hear, damn. Right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, you know, some people just walk around. What's up, bro? Some people just walk around with attitudes for no reason. But, like, for instance, I just spoke to that guy, right? Look at him, how Look like he got sugar in his tank. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. Anyway, but what I'm just going to say, I spoke to him, and he like, what's up, man? At least he spoke like he got some sense. That's how you break the ice, y'all. When you walking by people, you don't have to mean mug every motherfucker. You really want to check their temperature and see where they at. So you speak to them and be like, but that's what I'm going to get right like, like that. So you really want to, you know, check their temperature better night. Hey, how you doing, man? And if they speak, sometimes they won't. They'll just walk by mugging like, man, fuck you speaking to me, fuck. I don't represent no nice shit, bruh. I'm with the shit. Nigga, I'm ready to kill. Nigga, fuck you speaking to me like I'm all friendly and shit. Oh, my God, nigga. <laughs> and you be saying, nigga, I'll knock you the fuck out. Oh, oh, cool out OG, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice, cool out OG, huh? It's your soft ass on out of here. I know a defense mechanism when I see one. Motherfucker frowning up and looking tough and trying to act tough because they don't want nobody to say nothing to them, y'all. That's why they do that. Then some of them come from a miserable life and they like that for real. But the thing is, you don't know the difference. So sometimes you got to just speak to them. Hey, what's up, bro? And let them say, oh, what's up, fam? Yeah, ain't shit. Then they can keep it moving. When they start getting out their body, boy, I'll tell you. I'm going to get right on one of their ass. Man. Now, look at this, y'all. Look where we parked at. Where we had to park at. That's High Shore High School. I'm not sure what this program had to do with them. But that is... Damn near half two blocks. But it's a paid you able, you know they so they did that so we don't get tickets, so you won't get a ticket or your car towed. So I ain't never heard of this shit though. But anyway, that's what's going on, man, y'all. Want y'all to check out your boy tonight when I get in, I top it up and finish this rest of this story and let y'all know about my new job I'm gonna be doing for maybe I have to do it for like three weeks yeah maybe three weeks motivational speaking for three weeks so the lady just I just uh, did a whole interview and I qualified the lady liked it me she hired me to ask me could I be here <coughs> March the 11th? I'm like, yeah, I sure can. She like, can you give me three weeks of your time and uh, communicate with these people for three weeks? I'm like, yeah. She, I mean, can you give me some information what you need me to teach them besides just simple motivation? 
so yeah. like well, I give you information about the job, but we just need you to be like a perk, a perk in the room to perk these guys up. Because some of them, and then I'm asking her, well, why would you uh, call me? How did I get involved in this? She like, uh, you was referred from a friend. It's a friend I know. It's like a counselor at a program or something. And he was telling them about this guy that he see on YouTube that's a, uh, could be a good motivational speaker if he really put his heart to it. He said, I already run a YouTube channel that I try to give out good advice about this about street shit, only shit I know about. I'm not going to talk to the people about nothing I don't know about. So, that's where we parked at, y'all, in that lot right there. You see the truck over there. That's where we parked at. So, I'm finna go in here and uh, let them know I'm getting my car. He said, let them know because they, I think they said the gate gonna be locked, but it don't look like it's locked. So, anyway, man, it's your boy G Shrimp. And like, hey, baby daddy, bust the street, man. And guess what? We outside, y'all. We on the east side with it, man. Yeah, we on the east side with it, y'all. Let me look down the street and see how far we down from Terra Town. No, that's that's Jeffrey. Yeah, that's Jeffrey. Terra Town is a little farther down there. No limit, them guys. They further east, y'all. A lot further east. A lot of them guys went to this school. When I got kicked out of Cal, you met this the school I went to, too. I went to that school. It's a nice school. They just rebuilt it too. But you know, when you get kicked out of Cal, you met don't ain't too many schools go even take you. So this is what I want to do, y'all. I'm gonna buy some property like that. Y'all see that building? Not this one right here. This one with the green top. Go all the way down there. I like to open that up. It looked like it used to, does this say laundromat or daycare or something. I'm going to see how much that building costs. I would love to own something like that and try to revive it like some type of restaurant or something. Or, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But uh, something like that might be, you put the right amount of money into it, it might be really valuable. Anyway, it's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody say baby daddy what's the street. Just coming back from my interview, y'all. And guess what? I got the job, man. I'll tell y'all about it this evening. I'm out.